Hello dear, guess what? We have something great for you. Now, every Thursday, we're going to start a very new conversation and it's going to be questions and answers with Pastor Tosin. So, we're going to be bringing answers to your questions on this program. We're going to be answering biblical questions. We're going to be answering spiritual questions. Those troubling questions, gray area questions that nobody has really ever given you like a clarity on those things. We are going to be doing that in this program. All right. Welcome to today's um, broadcast for question and answer with Pastor Tosin. We have a question today and the question is, is is it heaven at last or heaven at first uh you see there, there are a lot of christians who their goal in life is to make heaven and not to miss it you know but the the the, the real problem is they don't have an understanding of the scriptures let's look at john chapter 3 verse 3 and let's look at the conversation that jesus had with nicodemus nicodemus was one of the religious leaders of those days who uh wanted to know more about jesus and look at the conversation that happened here in john 3 i'll start from verse from verse uh, 2 from verse 2 be fine jesus said most assuredly i say to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god now hold on a moment you see the 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 other problem is because of your english bible translation where you have the word born again you think um, when you read the, the continuous conversation, you may a little get confused and wonder why is the Codemus asking the type of questions he's asking Jesus. Now, I'll read to you from another translation from NASB, John 3, verse 3. And look at what Jesus said. Jesus said uh, to Nicodemus in verse 2. I'll read verse 3 again. He said, Jesus said, you are absolutely right. Take it from me. Unless a person is born from above, it is not possible to see what I'm pointing to, the, to God's kingdom. So he made it very clear. Jesus made it very clear that the meaning of the word born again means to be born from above. When you read in the, in the Aramaic, it means to be born from heaven. That's what it literally means. So when you are born again, when you receive Christ into your life, and the Lord gives birth to you, you are born from heaven. That means you are coming from heaven. Your citizenship is in heaven. And that's the reason why when you read verse 13, in fact, let's not even go far. Let's let's continue again. In verse 5, Jesus said, and from New King James Version, I said, Most surely I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born from above. And then if you read um, verse 12, Jesus said, If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? He says, No one has ascended to heaven, but he who came down from heaven, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. So Jesus made it very clear that he is the son of man who came down from heaven and is currently, when he was on earth, he was also in heaven at the same time. How is that possible? How could Jesus be on earth and be in heaven at the same time? It's the same thing that the scripture tells about every child of God who is born again, who is born from above. Once you are born from above, you are in the earth, but you are also in heaven. If you read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, what did the scripture say? He says, Blessed be the God of our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So that means once you are born into Christ, you are born into the heavenly realm. But remember, you are in the physical realm. So that means every child of God exists both in the physical realm and in the heavenly realm at the same time. Remember, what makes heaven is the Lord Jesus. Jesus is the embodiment, the Father is the embodiment of what heaven is all about. Everywhere God is, heaven has come there. Heaven, the Bible says, it says, Thy kingdom come to the earth as is in heaven. That means God can bring heaven down. How? By His presence. Every time the Holy Spirit manifests Himself any any time, heaven has come to live there. And what did Jesus say in the book of John? He says, He says, In that day which is today, He says, I and the Father will come and make our abode in you. That means our house in you. That means the Father lives in you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. Jesus lives in you. And for that mere fact, all of heaven has come to live in you. So for the child of God, 
once you're born again, once you're born from above, you are born, you are already a citizen of the kingdom of God. So heaven is not a place you are trying to get to. Heaven is a place you were born from. You were born from above. You were born from heaven. That means you are a citizen of heaven. So what you're doing on the earth is, the Bible says, we are, we are ambassadors in the earth. That means you have an assignment, you have a purpose, you have a destiny to fulfill in your life. And once you accomplish that, then you can go back to your home where you really belong. So it is heaven at first. Once you're born again, you are born from heaven. You belong to the family of God. And once you leave the earth, you go back home. It's as simple as that. I hope this is very clear. So heaven is not something you're trying to achieve. Heaven is something that you are already. It's your home. That's your heavenly home, the Bible tells us. Praise God.